Libya's coastal city of Derna is reeling from the devastating aftermath of a recent storm-induced flood, desperately seeking medical resources to cope with the widespread destruction. The situation has grown increasingly dire, prompting urgent action. The sanitation and the, the, the um, infrastructure and the one for water access is, I think, for me, a very important aspect, which is not really dealt with so far. Because if you compare with food, uh, non essential items, um, um, and for the medicine. Uh. In a high stakes meeting, the country's Ministry of Health convened with key representatives from the World Health Organization and the United Nations to brainstorm solutions for medical aid and ongoing rescue operations. The stakes couldn't be higher. The primary health care, uh, we, I forgot to mention, we identified, I think, seven other uh, clinics. We tried to restore them three in this side and four in that side, if I'm not mm. mistaken. The staggering toll from the disaster paints a grim picture. Over 5,500 lives lost and an alarming 10,000 individuals still accounted for. The International Organization for Migration delivered a gut-wrenching statistic. More than 38,640 people forcibly displaced, their lives torn apart in the hardest hit regions of northeastern Libya. Doctors without, without borders, uh, they were here yesterday and they, uh, they volunteered. They said, we can take care of this, we can... For the mental health issue, which is very important, we really need help in this because in all of Libya, mental health specialists are very, very rare. For his part, the American Special Envoy to Libya, Richard Nolland, engaged with swift dialogue with the director of the International Organization for Migration in Libya, Tawhid Pasha, aiming for coordinated efforts to jumpstart the recovery process in the storm-battered eastern cities and regions. Meanwhile, the head of the Libyan Presidential Council, Mohamed al mafi weighed in on this calamity, calling for nothing short of an international conference, a rolling point for reconstruction efforts in the areas ravaged by floods. 